I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls, alternating between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, back to 28. We have three flowers, north, white dragon, pair of red dragons. In cracks, we have three, five, seven, pair of sevens. In dots, we have two, four, six, nine. Here we have a pair of fours and a kong of nines. In bams, we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. If we had a four bam, we would have all the tiles in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, <laughs> I think I would play five, seven, five, seven, nine. It's a little bit risky because we don't have pairs of fives. Those are pair tiles. And then I think I would do two, four, six, eight with dragons. Two, four dot, six, eight in bams, and then the dragons. The funny thing is, is we have these flowers that we're not gonna use. That, that's kind of unusual to throw away all those flowers, but we've got Two really great starts for two hands. Let's set it up. Two, four, six, eight, dragon. Flowers, five, seven, five, seven, nine. So we have eight discards in those flowers. All right, we need to think this through. Could there be something else that we could do here and use the flowers? So we have four, eight, two, four, six, two, eight. What about if we did the third hand from the bottom instead? Two, eight, and flowers. Flowers, two, eight. We'd have two pair to throw away versus a pung. All right. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. Okay. Maybe... like numbers with nines and flowers, we'd still have a pair to let go of. We could maybe use that for joker bait and let these go. That's still 10 tiles. So these would be double pungs, Kong Kong. Let's see, what else could we do? Five, seven, nine, one, three, five, nine. I was thinking maybe we could do the concealed hand, but we don't have five dot, seven dot. But we do have one, three, five with a pair of flowers. So pair of flowers, one, three, five, five, seven, nine.
Hmm. So I think, let's see. Okay, what can we do up there? So let's just hold all the odds and see what happens. I guess we could even hold that. Look at all the odds. Okay, then up here, flowers. There's the first hand, two, four, six. Two, four, six, we have no eight dot with flowers. That would be a gap hand, but you could use as many jokers as you want with the eight dot Kong in this case. Another way we could use these would be two, eight, flower. So I guess what I would do is start there. Oh, I guess we could put this in here. Discard those. Let's see. Five, seven, five, seven, nine. Even if we could get one of these paired up, I would commit to that and then let these go. And then up here, four dot. Two, four, six, eight flowers. We do have that concealed hand. We would have to let this go. Two, four, six, and then pung of eight dot. Two, four, six, pung of eight bam. This is challenging. I think I would start by discarding those. Two, four, six, eight, and odds. Let's see. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Hmm. No, I think that's what I would do. This is going to be very challenging if we were to be able to play that through. But I think that's what I would do with these tiles. If you would do something differently, write it in the comment section below. This is pull one. Jokers, flowers, east, west, south, pairs of east and souths, two, three, five, seven in cracks, singles, six, seven, eight in bams with a Kong of eights, two, four, eight, nine in dots, pair two, pair eight, pair nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? I think what I would do here is play like numbers with eights and flowers. And then on top, I would leverage these wins. Maybe play the first hand or east and west with a short run. We could maybe do one, two, three. Here's two, three, and six, seven. Joker bait discards. So we have some run potential there in a pair. If we get east and west, Maybe those would go away. East and west with a short run. We've got options. One of the things I was thinking about is playing 
uh, let's see, east and west with this run like that. East and west, six, seven, eight. Throw that away. But then what to do up here? We'd have to let go of a pair of eights unless we did two, four, six, eight gap hand. Three flowers, pair, pair, pung, kong. Three flowers, pair, pair, pung, kong. Throw that away. And these would be joker bait. Those would go away. So that's four disc, that's eight discards, nine discards with that. So here, these have to be kongs, and that's pretty weak. That's why I was thinking maybe like numbers with eights. Here, and double pungs of flowers. And then here, leverage these multiples with the winds. What about a year hand? We do have a pair gap, no north. So maybe hold those. And then maybe hold these for the short run if winds come in. So new or east and west actually, east and west with a short run or news with the year. I suppose we could maybe keep the two for news with like numbers under the winds and dragons category. Hold this for joker bait. Since we're using the eight up here, we probably wouldn't use this for the short run because we would need a pung of eights and a single Let's see, it would be single pair pung. We have a gap, no seven, gap, no nine. So I think this is what I would do. Like numbers with eights and flowers, maybe news year hand or east and west with a short run. It would have to be five, six, seven, because we're using the eights up here. Let's see. I think that's what I would do. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two in the comment section below. Wow, look at that. We're missing a four BAM, but, oh, I guess nine BAM too. So we have one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight in BAMs with a pair of threes, pung of sixes, pung of sevens. In dots, we have four, eight, nine, pair nine. In cracks, we have two, three, oh, two, three, six, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, pair of threes and sixes. We have an east and a west and a flower, and then a joker. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on, and what would be your first discards? I think if these were my tiles, I would play either six, seven, eight, nine, or five, six, seven with flowers. And then a three, six, nine hand. 
Here's three, six, nine, three, nine. These would go away. Ooh, so we have three, six, nine, three. Three, six, nine, three with flowers, second hand from the bottom. That actually looks pretty good. Pung, pear, pung, kong. We could use this maybe to help with that nine. I wouldn't dedicate it that early though. And then here we could do six, seven, eight, nine. No gaps. Maybe we could keep this, because if we get a nine bam, we could play five through nine, but I don't think so, because we'd have to throw away a pair, uh, at least break up this pung. So I don't think I would do that. We have six, seven, eight, one suit Kong, or six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, nine. I mean, we actually picked hands. When you get all these tiles, sometimes you can do that. I think I would start by discarding the east west and then gather three, six, nine. Let's see, we have three, six, three, six, nine. I don't think I would try for the pair hand because we have no three, six dot. And I don't think I would play the concealed hand because we'd have to throw away, let's see. Well, we don't have the right three, six for that. Let's see, three, six, nine. We don't have any dragons. Three, six, nine and mixed suits. We could maybe do, let's see. Three, six, nine in mixed suits. And then, yeah, I don't know. That kind of messes everything up. I think this is what I would do here. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below the video. This is pull three. When you first get your dealt hand, identify the strength of the hand. That's either going to be multiples or the predominant pattern, which will be a category using most of your tiles for one or both hands. Then identify the discards. Start discarding and build around the strength of the hand. When you run out of discards, that's when you can whittle down into one category if you were in multiple or pick a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.